trying not to be, I don't want to look too much like a cowboy. Yeah. <laughs> was that, oh, oh, I restuttered. Hey guys, and welcome to this week's first Air Force One Friday. Today, we're talking about the elevator boost mechanism. Are you guys up for this one? Just a walk in the park, Kazansky. Now, because this was a, such an important system, it had multiple redundancies to make sure it never lost hydraulic pressure. You had your primary on number one engine, your secondary hydraulic pump on number two, and then you had a third hydraulic auxiliary system driven by an electric motor in the tail. That was completely just to run this system. And if that were to fail, there was a hydraulic boost disconnect in the cockpit right here, which switches this into manual mode, hooking the tail all the way up to the nose with physical cables. You lose about half your travel, but you gain mechanical advantage. So you could land the airplane safely in an airport without having to be the Hulk. Anyway, that's all we got for this week, guys. Hey, don't forget to like and subscribe us. I'm Guthrie George with Dynamic Aviation. We'll see you next time.